alert. A magnitude 4.0 earthquake hits Cascadia exactly where yesterday's 6.3 took place, with the smaller earthquakes of 3.2, 3.5. But today we have a continuation into the San Andreas fault zone after the 4.0 at Bandon, Oregon, right on the Cascadia subduction zone area at the Juan de Fuca plate one of the worst in the world you also see the area of various volcanoes here northwest United States but what happened is it seems that this has touched onto the San Andreas fault zone we just had an earthquake of a 5.2 east of the geysers california we also had a 2.5 aguaga california and alberto oviedo mota mexico that we had today we had a major earthquake in alaska as well there is no tsunami war that was a 6.3 but we see the activity all around the ring of fire and um even here uh, towards the north Alaska 2.8 is a swarm of quakes but here we have you can see the activity right here today's activity all along the west coast and this uh, quake the activity on the Cascadia subduction zone is not good news because that's where the geologists have been warning us that they expect a mega thrust earthquake in the next 30 years not only our geologists but the canadian geologists are warning the canadians as well in the next 30 to 50 years so that's a 3.1 4.0 and a 3.1 again that was just from today and we had a 6.3 yesterday 3.5 3.2 in that er same exact area and then we see that it's gone down to 2.6 Petrolia, west of Petrolia, California. And we have the geysers, earthquake 2.5. Then we have South California 2.5. And just south of that, which is in Mexico, right there, 2.6. So we'll keep a lookout on this during the day to see what new activity comes of this. But people there should be alert because it's starting to wake up. And that's not good news. As you can see, Cascadia subduction zone is not good news. I'll leave links below for you for this on USGS. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.